Hey everyone, my name's Adam Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at everything I picked up at the Friendship Flea Market. And what screams friendship more than some cast iron knuckles? Picked these up at the show uh, this year, um, a pair of early 1900s cast iron knuckles. As you can see, they do have some rust on them, but it is mostly surface rust, so doesn't actually affect the integrity of the knuckles but super happy about these. Um, it is difficult to find knuckles that aren't meant to be like novelty um, and actually are comfortable in the hand. So these are going to go great in my collection. Um, probably the most comfortable knuckles that I own. So got those for $30. They had, I think, 38 on the tag, but they said they'd take 30. Um, next, I picked up actually a, well, the first thing I picked up was actually this um, replacement axe handle or kind of like a boy's axe handle. Um, did not get this um, head, this West German head I actually already owned and wanted to replace the handle on it. So got this one and put that handle on myself. I did a pretty bad job um, at putting that handle on. You can see that right there, the wedge. It's kind of pushed in more than the metal wedge. Um, so still have more to learn in terms of, um, I guess it's called hafting an ax head um, when you put the handle on the head. I don't know, um, but I still have more to learn in terms of attaching a ax handle or a hatchet or ax to a handle, um, but it's okay. Um, next, I actually purchased these three items as a group a Tomahawk brand. So they were trying to originally sell these boxes for $3 a piece and really liked how this box looked. Saw that it was from 1995. Um, so I asked how much they'd take for the whole set. And these are individual razor blades. So there's, I think, 12 in the, each of these boxes. And they just open up and you get little razor blade in there. Not very high quality and not super sharp. So um, they're, they're actually terrible quality, um, but still kind of a neat novelty piece. And I think they said it was 25 if I bought the whole box rather than um, 33 since it was 11 of them. So I got those. I got this Taylor Enforcer, which is actually also a knuckle. Neat little piece, opens up, little lockback knife, and little finger guillotines in there. So if that uh, lock ever fails, you can um, say goodbye to all your fingers. Um, maybe not all of them, because that first one um, goes with the um, tang of the knife, so you may just get a pinch rather than getting the, that finger chopped off. Um, but pretty neat right there. Uh, the sticker on that was $8, um, but I did buy these things as a group of, I think it was $35 for Enforcer, the Tomahawk razor blades, and this little miniature keychain stiletto that needs to be oiled and isn't actually that high quality. And of course, I'd never actually put this on a keychain because it has no safety. <laughs> and that's a little pick lock right there. And the other little mini stiletto that I'd gotten during the 127 sale is actually much better quality than that. Um, which I wish I could find it. Looking at one of my, oh, there it is. Here's the one that I got during the 127 sale. A little bit smaller, but much better quality on this. Like night and day in terms of quality. Um, in the primitive area, I picked up this Case SS for stainless steel. 
uh, P62 boot knife. I've had a thing for boot knives recently. Not really sure why I've been picking them up. I don't actually own a pair of boots that you can use a boot knife for, but kind of like them. And I've been finding them at decent prices recently. Picked this up for 70 bucks. Not really a fan of the square handle. I understand why it kind of fits in your hand well with the square handle, but I like rounded handles a little bit better. Does show some use, uh, but sheath is in pretty good condition. Let you guys see the stamp on that. You can tell the age through the dots on there. I, don't, I haven't looked it up yet to see how old it is. I'd say probably 80s. A Kershaw knife that I actually bought for parts. This is the uh, 1660. I'm, I can never remember the... I know there's the Chive Scallion and another one that are all different sizes of the same knife basically. Uh, this one has basically the blade has been ground down and all that and it's missing the lock but the frame is actually in decent condition. Um, pocket clip is non-bent so there's some parts that I can use for other knives. Um, if I find another one that maybe has a good blade can replace it. Um, Kershaw probably does replacement blades. I know a lot of companies have either start charging a larger amount for replacement blades or have stopped doing that totally. Um, I'll, I'm unsure what Kershaw currently charges. And lastly, I got this. It says Master Builders on it. It's a German-made knife by um, Hockey. In Solgen, Germany. Thought it looked pretty nice. Um, the scissors won't stay closed, so I'll probably work on this, see if I can get that to stay closed, but they at least work. Um, I think it's the back spring because when you close the scissors, does want to push the blade out a little bit and when the blade is like halfway open the scissors will actually stay closed so it's gonna need the back spring repaired but this was in a dollar bin so couldn't pass that up for only a dollar pretty cool but that's everything I picked up at the friendship flea market this year I'd say it was a pretty successful year Favorite thing was definitely these knuckles. Um, super happy about that. Second favorite thing is the Taylor Enforcer knuckles. So I guess um, knuckles really are great at friendship. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.